speed, black beauties, white cross and blue Christmas trees, all prized on the street drug market and all fakes. People will spend two to five dollars a capsule for what they believe are amphetamines. What they're really getting is caffeine. One capsule might pack the punch of three cups of coffee. Federal officials estimate 100 million may be sold this year. That compares with only 70 million of real amphetamines. Initially, it wasn't a very big problem. However, lately, it's been increasing. Counterfeit drug sales have tripled, and the fakes only make it harder for police, who sometimes have to investigate a case, only to find the fake legal pills. And police say there's not much they can do except charge a vendor for selling without a license. One policeman guessed that perhaps 95% of so-called street speed is really the fake caffeine capsules. So what's the danger in the fakes? Someone used to pumping four or five of the counterfeits might one day take four or five of the real thing and overdose. Three Arizona teenagers died from ingesting too many look-alikes. Children were coming home with flyers that had been placed on their automobiles and uh, they found in the streets indicating that they could buy jugs of these capsules for various prices. Business cards are often left in bars and bathrooms. Ordering is as simple as a phone call. Supplies usually come in from large wholesalers, many in Pennsylvania. The capsules are sold in high volume and then hustled off on local streets. With no real legal restrictions, the caffeine craze is growing and putting look-alike drugs in the hands of young people and multi-million dollar profits in the pockets of distributors. Leslie Brinkley, The Daily News.